welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to be talking about five ways that you can be motivated and things that motivate me um, and something that you can take on that maybe will help you be motivated whenever you're just feeling like First of all, let me just say, here's a little disclaimer, because this may not be, one, a part of your belief system, um, and two, it may not um, work for you. This stuff isn't going to apply to everyone, um, but it's things that I apply most days whenever I know that I need some more motivation um, to really get me going and get my will back up. The first thing is, hold on, number one is to read your Bible. Guys, in high school, I used to be someone that was like, oh, I like to do my quiet time before bed. I don't like necessarily using that word anymore, but um, the whole word quiet time because it doesn't have to be quiet. I just realized that my washer was going, so I'm so sorry. I'm just going to leave that right there. Guys, the word is so important. So wh the, one of the biggest things that I have noticed is whenever I wake up in the morning, I need that. I need the fulfillment of God before anything else, before food, before brushing my teeth, anything. I've heard people even say, oh, I feel like I need to brush my teeth before I spend time with God. And it's hilarious. But um, let me just tell you, in high school, for example, I was someone that did not want to read my Bible in the morning. I didn't want to make time for that. I didn't want to um, wake up any earlier so that I could. But guys, it affects, now that I do make time for it, it affects my whole day. If I just open it up, read a little bit, pray, Spend time with God. Do whatever it takes to really spend time with God before you get your day started. Whether that was waking up before you're supposed to, which I'm really bad at. So I'm not saying that these are things that I'm great at. It's that they help motivate me. So whenever I just feel like blah, then um, that's what I do. So number two is put on some music, put on some music that makes you feel good, that makes you want to do stuff, not this old heartbreak stuff. I mean, if that works for you, it works for you. But I will say that putting on, for me, what I like to listen to is some upbeat worship music. Number three is go outside. You know, fresh air is a good thing. No matter what the weather is, no matter any of that, it's going to make you feel better because it's fresh air. And alongside that, maybe go for a run. Get your blood flowing. Set your mind on things while you're walking or while you're doing something outside. Um, whether that's doing some jumping jacks or doing, well, they call them star jumps here. Um, what? And as you're doing that, like, start thinking about the things that you need to do, um, that you're avoiding. So number four would be to get someone behind you to remind you of why you started. This person to me is my husband. My loving, generous, awesome, amazing, hot, great person of a human being that I'm married to. I'm just thankful. <laughs> so I rely on him for so much because when I'm feeling down and discouraged and frustrated with work and frustrated working for myself, all that stuff, he literally is like, whoa, 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 whoa. No. I just want, I, this was in my vows. He says this. This was in my vows. I need to remind you of what you started before, before you start anything else. So this is what you're doing. This is what you said you were going to do two months ago. This is what you said you were going to do a year ago. Are you still doing those? Okay, ju I just needed to remind you. Just needed, yep. So that's how he does it. And it literally changes my perspective within minutes. 
And it's so funny because he's like, he always says, I said this in my vows, I will remind you what you started before you start another thing. And it's like, it honestly reshifts my thinking. Um, if that's even a word, who knows? Uh, but it does help my eyes get fixed on what is in front of me. It helps me focus on, okay, this I've already committed to, this I've already committed to, so let me focus on this and be motivated about this because I want to see it to completion and I want to finish well. Um, and then I can take on a new adventure or new uh, entrepreneurial um, thing that I have my sights on. Number five. Number five. This is one of my biggest things that I have to do. Make a list. I have to make a list. Every, literally every single time. Some days I will literally write out every single bit of my schedule and say, let's go. And because I see it in front of me and I want to check it off, then I can do it. Along with my schedule, I write things, I, I prioritize things, so as I'm writing my schedule, I write the things that are most important, and then I write the things that are what I want to do, and then from there, I flip it around, because normally I write things that I want to do first, like that are easier first, I flip it around and I do the hardest thing first and work my way down to the easiest thing and sometimes the quickest thing. Like if the longest thing is going to be first, um, it's almost like I do that and then it just like snowballs. Um, and so I will do the hardest slash the longest thing first um, and then I work my way down. Um, to the easiest and then I get to the things that I want to do and I want to spend my time doing. So I said there was going to be one bonus, but I actually have two now that I think about it. The first one is make your house smell good. Use a diffuser, use a candle, whatever it takes, make your house smell good um, or your workplace or whatever. In a workplace a lot of times businesses don't necessarily like candles, use a diffuser because you can add whatever scents or whatever to your diffuser and there's so many benefits as well as concentration and motivation and things like that that it has for you. The second thing that I'm going to say, the second bonus thing, is the fact that you have to have fun doing all of these things. If you know that you're going to have fun doing these things, you're, you're not going to lose the motivation as easily comment below. Let me know which ones work for you. Other than that, give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.